Hi, today we're working on stretching our hip flexors and our hamstrings. So let's start with a lunge. You can choose to press your hands onto the counter like this, going into a lunge there or to the side like I am. You can choose to do the other way if you want more support with the arms to keep the abs engaged. Stepping back with the left foot. Make a 90 degree or less than 90 degree angle with your knee. Be sure not to bring that knee over the toes, but keep it over the heels. Find the glute hamstring connection with this right heel, pushing it down into the floor and then hugging it toward your right hip. Then putting your left hand on your left hip, send your left hip towards your right ankle and lengthen both sides of the waist equally. Take a deep inhale here and exhale, press down with that right arm or both arms and bringing the left arm up. Send the left heel down toward the floor even more. Inhale, go up and over, getting a deeper stretch here on the side of the hip. Inhale and exhale, inhale. Tweeze those inner thighs in and up, zip the abs, and keep a long lower back. Try not to sink into it like that. Going into the hamstring stretch, bring that left foot forward a little bit, and send your hips back. So you're going into a flat back, pitching forward. You can put your left hand on your thigh if you're doing the single arm version, or both arms on the counter. Stick your booty out, zip up the pants, Inhale, lengthen that spine so the top of the head is going out in front of you and the tailbone is reaching behind. Tweeze the inner thighs up and in. Zip up those abs one more time and then flex that right foot and point. Press down with that right arm, bring your left arm to your thigh. Flex that foot and point and flex. You can have your knee a little bent if you don't have the flexibility for this. And reach that spine long one more time. Tail goes in the opposite direction of the head. Bend that knee and step together, bringing your left foot back to your right foot. Step back with your right. You can either turn around if you want the help of the hand on the other side. Inhale, nice and tall, keeping that knee over the heel. Exhale, press the foot firmly into the floor and hug that heel toward your other foot. Inhale, zip the pants and lengthen the lower back. Exhale, push the belly into the spine and get a deeper tilt in that pelvis to open up that right hip. Bringing the right arm behind your head. If you stay this direction, you don't have the help of the counter, so push down with that arm. Inhale, go up and over, and try to balance, or just turn around, do it the other way. Inhale, exhale, scoop those abs a little deeper. Inhale, shoulder blades anchor, and exhale, come on back. Sending the hips back, Inhale here, put that left hand on your thigh, and exhale, flex the foot. Inhale, and flex, and flex. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, bend that knee, step together, and let's move into down dog. Turn to face the counter, both hands on, Step back a little bit so that you can press your chest through your shoulders. Try to get your chest to touch the floor here. Feet are a little wider than hip distance apart. Flex those toes and release them back onto the floor. Soften the knees. Inhale, send the tail up to the ceiling. Try not to round out here. Really stick the booty out. Really arch that back. Exhale, pull the navel into the spine deeper, really squeezing those abs here. And press down on that counter a little more to go deeper. Feel that deep chest stretch, shoulder stretch. Keeping the elbows soft so that 
So you're not hurting your joints here. Inhale, exhale, walk your feet back to parallel. Bring those arms to the floor if you feel safe. Zip up the pants and roll up one vertebrae at a time all the way to standing. And you can get on with your day.